let's talk about the Scorpion rules. It's new feature of Salesforce. Scorpion rules let you control the records that you your users see based on criteria that you select. You can set up scoping rules for different users in your Salesforce doc so that they can focus on the records that matter to them. Users can switch the set of records they are seeing as needed. Um, scoping rules are available for custom objects and, uh, and the account case and contact event lead opportunity and past standard objects. Any partner I in, um, ISC or customer can test scoping rules using the developer org. Scoping rules are turned on in developer editions created after 2022 April. List views applied in Lightning Experience if filtered by scope is selected. Reports scope is selected. Um, circle applied unless a scope rather than scoping rule is specified. Um, uh, circle for if, uh, if it is not selected, yeah, then you, it retrieves the circle. Um, when do you when do I use scoping rules? Use scope use scoping rules when you want to let users control the record that they see. Scoping rules uh, don't restrict users access to other records that they sometimes need instead of scoping rule let you users focus on the one set of record and change their focus or search to find records that are not in the scoped record set when they need to for example if you have users to support multiple agencies in your arc each user is assigned to a specific agency you can set up scoping rules so that they filter the records that you your users see in list view and reports. Users don't need to spend time looking for their correct record, but they still have the access to the other agency's record if they need to. Uh, you can also use scoping rule to with flow builder to set scope according to choice of your use user mix. For example, you have users to work on account records that belong to a different division in your organization. You want to scope the account records that users see by division, giving your users an easy way to switch between different division records. Set. You can set up flow that your users access using the lightning utility bar to set the scope of your record that the user sees in list views, report, and other features. How do scoping rules affect your user access? Scoping rules are flexible. You can enable, disable them um, query by query basis. Plus, you don't have to restrict the access that your users uh, have to records. Your users can still open the reports um, the, with other uh, records. Yeah. How do I configure scoping rules? And you go to the object manager and then let and there, um, uh, or you can use a tooling API based on a restriction uh, rule metadata API. So yeah, let's get uh, our hands dirty. Um, um, let's go to uh, Salesforce Arc. So I have a custom object called uh, Go to object manager and then you go to uh, scoping rules and this is uh, you have this this is all quite default this is a sharing mechanism configure role hierarchy sharing rule and um, manual sharing comes here and also epic sharing after that scoping rules come here so and then uh, you get the results is based on record that meet the scoping rules criteria appear by default or when you select criteria by scope. So if you select the scope, it comes up here. This is scope. Scoping rules are here. Filter records based on your user's needs. Filter by division, brand, record owner, or another criteria. Oh, the criteria is at your disposal. Let's create a new scoping rule. Test is the name of that. Okay. I want to make it accurate right away. Uh, let's 
say users criteria if user department is a1 find the house records um, let's say cast window equals small so what's happening here is the scoping role if the users department is a1 um, the user gets the records based on the scope we define the scope at windows the uh, the window equals small so for this user if the department is a1 um, retrieves the records uh, house records with window small so this is how it works so it's pretty easy self-explanatory as working scoping rules yeah um, so this is the one I just created you can drop down here you can click edit here you can update as well yeah um, yes so this is how you define your scoping rules